Hello, I'm Entrilis and welcome back to European Stars 4 as Ravenclaw. We are the leader of the HRE. That, that's, oh, makes me pleased. Makes me very pleased. Although we're going to lose it. As soon as we go Protestant, I think we lose it. So, there's that. That's a shame. Hmm. I'd like to declare war on someone. I can. I mean, Northern Italy's pulled out, right? So, ah, buttons. That button. Northern Italy has pulled out the HRE, uh, other than us, because we chose not to. Oh, it isn't added to the HRE. We could add that and get points. We'll do that later on. Um, so basically, we could go around and basically start conquering this, and the HRE wouldn't mind as much. They'd still get, a, uh, you know, aggressive expansion, but uh, they wouldn't mind quite as much. And that's kind of important, uh, because I, I do want to hit something soon. And the reason is, if I wait too long... I can't go Protestant. You can only go Protestant when you're at peace, and I need to go Protestant ASAP. As soon as the Reformation happens, it's like, BAM! I need to go Protestant, because if you don't, only the first three people get sent to the Reformation. Those are really important. If you don't get sent to the Reformation, especially in the HRE, uh, you're going to be in some trouble. Um, it's not terrible, but it's it's much, much harder, and especially since we want to convert as much of the HRE as possible to Protestant, we kind of want one of those. So we need to be able to go Protestant as soon as it hits. When is it going to hit? Uh, I don't know. My estimate is about five years. Um, judging by this, you know, 83.2. It gets to 90, it starts to have a chance to fire, I think. And at 100, it, it has a chance to fire. It's really like it's going to fire any second. So, I'm going to go with a quick war. Try and make it as quick as possible. Now, the question is, who do I war with? I think Tuscany is probably a good bet. Al Genoa and Lorraine. <laughs> Well, my, my. Oh, we've got a diplomatic insult, Casaspelli. Oh, hello there. They, they insulted us? Well, that was a mistake. You won't join. You won't join. You won't... Yeah, that's fine. We got this. We got this. Okay. So, effectively, what I want to do is just straight in crush them. I'll leave this uh, 19 on my northern flanks to deal with anything that uh, shows up. I think maybe we could do with like uh, putting a fort. We've got a fort here, we've got a fort here, and here. we've got three there. That's that's unneeded. Like we, It's not necessary. We don't need Manchur to have a fort. So maybe we'll get rid of Manchur's fort or something. I mean, it does give great like defenses into northern Italy, but uh, I don't think we quite need that. I might have one in Laika. Might be, you know, pretty useful. Although, I don't know if I'll expand to Zagreb. You know what? I think, you know, we've got spare money here. I think getting a castle would be a good idea there. And since Tyrol currently isn't defended, I think we're defending... Yeah, we're not defending Tyrol or München. I think what we'll do is we'll defend München. Do you want to build a castle in München? Uh, yeah, sure. And then that should give us a, a little bit of defense there, and I will be much appreciated. I will be much appreciated. I will be much appreciative. There we go. Right. Um. You, group. Get rid of the mercenaries. I'm. Ooh, yeah, I should probably get rid of them. They're going to cost me a pretty penny. Only 19 troops left. Eh, yeah, we're fine. Okay. We can probably expand our troops much more now, by the way, because we're uh, leader of the HRE. Yeah, look at that. We can go up to, like, many more. We can go up to 80. We can over-double. I mean, not that we have the manpower for that. Um, we might just get more cannons. I think maybe if we turn these into 12 four eights. Yeah, so what do we want? 2, 0, 3. So, 2, 0, 3 it doubled is 4, 0, 6. So let's get a 4, 0, 6. Four. Zero. Six. And I'll go to war immediately, and these guys will just catch up with them. So, move you there. Uh, we could do the leader. Do I not have a leader? We'll hire a leader then. Uh, th ugh, three, zero, one. Ugh. Okay. I mean, your fire phase will be decent, but everything else will suck. Absolutely suck. Inflation's rising. That's our ideas. We almost finished. We can grab it now, but, you know. 
the next level technology is pretty tempting, but it would, it's it's way ahead of time. I think what we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll grab it now, uh, and we'll get idea cost minus 10, which is pretty nice. And very soon we'll get an extra force limit plus 15, which on top of the HRE bonus we don't really need. Uh, we don't really need the HRE bonus, but that said, uh, we're going to lose the HRE bonus pretty soon as we uh, drop from being the leader of the HRE. Uh, if I was playing this, like, for power gaming, I'd decide I wouldn't drop the HRE. As soon as you come leave the HRE, it's so easy to keep, I just wouldn't drop it. I'd stay Catholic, whatever the cost. But I want to try out Protestantism. I like it. I like the idea of the new stuff. I want to try it out. So we're going to go for that. Sorry, so get into position. They've got 15. Is Hills. And they've got a very good leader. Okay. I think I might wait a little bit longer before attacking them. Well, France helping Savoy is pretty strong. Yeah, I think all I'll do is wait for the extra troops. I don't want to hit a 15 with a 19 that's got, you know, enemies defending in hills, enemies have got a better general. That could go wrong. Like, it, we could always bring the second 19 stack in, then send them back north, but... I can wait. Okay. Are we done with the cannons yet? Right, so... Meet up. There we go. And we should be ready to go and take the fight to Tuscany. Grab. Grab. I wonder what the supply limit is here. Yeah, we can go up here and sit in Munchen. Because it isn't defended, so it's probably a good idea. Oh, Tyrol might be better, but then I don't know what Tyrol's um, supply limit is 19. Yeah, we're going to have 24. So no. Okay, right. Are we ready to go? Tuscany. Diplo. Declare war. And we'll get Trier and Clone in. Hopefully they'll siege out Genoa and Lorraine for me without me having to worry. Go. They're pretty tough. Now, as we said, we're both equal in morale and tactics. I've got plus five discipline over them, though. But look at... Oh, they had a five shock leader? That explains. Yeah, that leader's tough. Come on, move, 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 move. Oh, Fort's blocking it. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Right, so let us check. Oh, hello there. Well, we now have our target. Are you locked in? 20 September. No. He's locked in now. He's going to attack us. Yeah, and we're in mountains. Brilliant. I love the lock-in system. It's so cool. Um, right, do we need to hit anywhere else? Genoa. That's been sieged out there, Lorraine. So let's head to Genoa. We call Diplomat from Poland. Thank you. we not get through? Oh. Great. Do we have to, like, ask someone to be like, can we get military access? Yeah. Ask for military access. It was granted! Oh my god, they won? Well done. Okay. I'm going to detach you just so we've got the minimum amount of troops in these areas. I don't want to be here, though. I'll keep the maximum amount of troops. And the reason here is um, they've got a large stack, and I don't want to end up, like, splitting my stack up and... Oh. Doesn't matter. Ignore me. Oh, wow. They are winning. Bamral. I mean, they're outnumbered, like, almost 3 to 1. Bloody hell. These guys are tough. Well, we'll have 100% sieged out in a second, so nothing to worry about. Remember, get the law, uh, the wars done as fast as possible. Up to 86. 70%. Okay. Uh, actually, I want to close this. And I want to... Flip you to Modena. Now the question is, do I take you as a vassal and eat Modena? 
or do I just feed you to my dinner? There is a, uh, a big choice there. Tuscany are pretty awesome. I do love Tuscany. Right, how much would that give me? A lot of gross expansion. That coalition would murder us, and it would be like death by a thousand knives. Okay, what if we were to take like one province? Two provinces? Death by a thousand knives. Okay, one province it is. What else could we do? Release Pisa. We could do that. Uh, it would weaken them, certainly. Do I need to weaken them, really? No. Let's save the uh, 66 Diplo it would cost. Uh, do I want to get rid of any of those? I don't really want to get rid of their alliances, because um, having their alliances means that they can't use them for someone bigger. So I'll take war rep. I'll take money. Eh, decent amount of money, even though I don't really need it. Trade. It's possible we could go for trade. We could give a promise to Mets. Nah, I don't spend the Diplo on that. There's no point. It doesn't do anything for me. Honestly, I think we're good like this. I'd be very tempted by the trade power if it was possible, but... Like, I could take other stuff off and get the trade power instead, but frankly, I don't really give a damn. Uh, I'm just going to go for this. One province. I am... I'm not greedy. I would accept it. And we will... Move on. You can go to Treviso. You can go to here. Bam. War over. Told you we are going for a quick war. Wasn't lying. Council military access. Bam. Done. Sorted. What's this? Uh, we got way too many things going on. Hufflepuff. Meh. I want to keep them. Ragusa. We could eat them, but uh, you know, frankly, I still want to be able to use them to eat some pe uh, uh, see, uh, some other people. Um, Cologne. Magdeburg Trier. Those are the people voting for us. Do we need them? I don't know. We're going to be kicked out pretty soon. I can get rid of them. Hmm. Group you. I think, by the way, that we'll get uh, an extra two transports because we've been sitting here for ages and frankly, I'd love to have an extra two transports just to be able to, you know, sort this mess out because frankly, this is a mess right now. I still have to go around Gauls. I haven't managed to capture Gauls. I could, but I just haven't because reasons, I don't know. They love me. Would they be my vassal? I could, like, grant them electorate. I can't because there's too many electorates. Um, would you be my vassal? Do you want to be my girl? No. Because tax base. Yeah, that's understandable. You've got Hungary on your side. Ah, that would be why. Um, I mean, you know, we can take Hungary down, but... Frankly, I've gone up a lot of aggressive expansion right now. Let's look at it. 25, 27, 24... Yeah, these are the top limits I will go for. Otherwise, I will start getting coalitioned, and I don't want to be called into a coalition war when I want to be going Protestant. That's exactly what I don't want to happen. Okay, cool. Go kill the peasants, then come back here. No, you're not going to capture the promised peasants. We got there in time. Boom, you're dead. It's simply not acceptable. It's not acceptable behavior. So many military points. I might have to just buff tax bases or something. Uh, not tax bases, sorry, manpower bases. Yeah, let's get that up to 95, and this one is going up to 99. Sure. Oh, I can say it like that for the moment. A 10 military of only three promises. Yeah, not bad. I mean, the bases, I think, are six now. Alright. Do we mothball this for? I mean, honestly, mothballing the thought makes us more money. Do we need more money? Probably not. So, yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Thought here will be nice because it'll defend our northern border. Thought here will be nice because it'll defend our southern border. And this border is ridiculous. This is like a Maginot line. There's so many things here. So well defended. I don't know what to do with my diplomats. Like, I could send them to members of the HRE, but we are going to end up switching religion in... Yeah. We, there's a chance of... I think there's a chance of flipping the HRE now. Uh, not flipping the HRE, but the Reformation from firing. I think 90% is where it can start to fire. Um, but, you know, 10% time and it will be definitely firing. I can't do any wars because uh, I've got too much aggressive expansion. So I'm perfectly happy just to sit here and uh, 
wait the next bit out. I mean, our manpower is pretty low as well, so I think maybe we'll consider us, uh, concern ourselves with like, more economic things. Let's look at the economic things. That would be the development. That would be the buildings. Barracks. Um, 125 is not worth it. Point 0.2, not really worth it. Production. Point 0.2, point 0.2, point 0.1s. No, not really worth it either. Trade power. 9.2. That I will have. That I will have indeed. That's a good amount of trade power. Regimental camp. Land forces modifier. Plus one. How interesting. Okay, I want regimental camps everywhere. Extra force cement. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why would I not want that? I mean, I've got plenty of force at the moment, but I am going to lose the bonus we get for being the leader of the HRE when we stop being leader of the HRE. So, you know, I'm preparing in advance. I don't know how far it'll go down. I mean, I could check by checking the ledger, actually. The ledger will break it down for me. Um, but I, I think it will be fine. I think we'll come down to roughly where our army is at the moment, if not a tiny bit ahead of it. What I'd like to be able to do is field three of these rather than just two. Ooh, a debate. Please manpower, please manpower. Technology development, fort defense... Fort maintenance, um, ships, reduces opinion changes, income, diplo annexation cost. You know, that's a great idea. I like that. We'll do it. Create offices for, because I don't want to annex Ragusa now, but I might want to annex them in the near future. I think that's a really, really good idea. Because the worst thing comes, you know, if we need another vassal in the same location, We'll just get Bosnia or someone. Or we'll get, you know, Serbia or, you know. There's there's a plenty of options in that area. So I think what we'll do is we'll go for that and then we'll diplo annex them when we get the chance. Because I will probably need to eat my vassals before we go to war in the HRE to enforce Protestantism as the single religion because I need the extra power. Um, lose that army tradition. Don't really want to do that or that. Lose 10 papal influence. Sure. Great one to lose. Plus five local on Tommy and Ferreira. I mean, it'll go down, so sure. I'll take a 75. I don't really want to lose armor tradition. I like armor tradition. It's very hard to get. I mean, other than constant warring, but our constant warring is limited in the HRE anyway. Aggressive expansion is so easy to get. If you check our aggressive expansion, by the way, like, look. Hungary, 14. Papal States, 15. These are people who are, like, our rivals. Uh, they aren't anywhere near, like, the people just on our border in the HRE. We've lost our claim against Modena, which is fine by me. How many are we over our Diplo? Two. Slytherin we've got an alliance with. Honestly, I think we'll dump that alliance. I'm sorry, Slytherin. But you're just not a player anymore. You're not a player. And I need my Diplo points. I need to save them up. I'm not getting many at the moment. How many are we getting? Okay, so it's a 3-3-3. Three, three, three. We're getting six. Which is decreased by one because of our relations. That's fine. Now, just in case you know our leader dies before we manage to get the flip, I will just keep people, um, you know, nice and cozy. When was the last time we sent a gift? I mean, we can afford to send gifts like this. We've got so much money. I'm just going to flash my money around as much as need to. All right. Oh. Deary, deary, deary me. We used all the buildings, didn't we? There's not really anything else to do with the buildings. I mean, next castle would be nice, but we need another military tech. We need, what, 14? Ow, okay. It's high. Cathedral. Counting house. Eh. Kind of need a lot of higher technology for most of those. You can build a building. Yeah, you can. Ferrara needs one. I'm assuming, like, I've built... No, they're just building. Okay, Ferrara needs something. It's like, I could do with something. What have you not built here? You can't build a dock. You could build a land for summit plus one. Hmm. Navy for summit, meh. Out of the regimental camp. I mean, I can always destroy it later. I mean, all it will do is cost me money to do that. Like, effectively, my investment will be wasted. But I don't mind, like, renting it effectively, especially with this amount of money I have. Which is 84. Oops. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Munster Imperial Liberation. Nah, I can't be at war if Protestantism's going to happen, mate. Can't do it. Diplo Relations, plus one. Also really good for annexing. So, you know, 
Anything, uh, the goose has been made pretty damn easy. I don't want that, I want this. How are we doing? Only plus one, uh, point one four. Shame. Okay, um, what about... 92%? So close. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we'll get there. It might be a while. And maybe less surely. And sometimes particularly slowly. Uh, Bavaria is no longer considered Styria's arrival. Okay. Clergy condemns a philosopher's heretic. Lose one stability, we gain missionary strength, but we lose technology. Okay. Or lose stability, we lose missionary strength, and we gain technology. No, frankly, when we flip, we're going to get plus 10, and I don't know if this will, like, disappear when uh, we flip, because, you know, maybe we'll get rid of the Catholic faith, and this won't, won't happen anymore. But I'm going to take the minus 1 and take the technology buff, because, um... I mean, do, do I need to? Yeah, because I'm about to take all the technologies, so this will actually be useful. I think we can do about 1% missionary strength for 10 years. Because Protestantism comes as an inbuilt plus 10. Excellent. Right, when are you going to flip? You're going to flip in 6 months' time. Oh, and we've got another HRE thingy. Unlawful territory, Munster. Um, demand unlawful territory. Should we shout at them? I mean, that'll give us Cassus Belli. And do I really want a Cassus Belli there? That's for someone else to deal with. That's the next emperor to deal with. Me? Nah, I'm more laid back than that. Oh, my stability's negative. Ooh, do I do I want to? I should probably increase my stability. I mean, as much as I like going up an admin level, I think maybe I should get the stability here. Yeah. Plus one. Need the admin points. I can't go any higher. I think plus one's a good idea. Castle's doing pretty well. I think I will mothball this one. Not mothball. I'll actually destroy it. Because it's just unnecessary right now. It, it doesn't really defend anything. I mean, I could have destroyed the one in Ferrara, but the one in Ferrara will be able to project into here a lot of its power. The only one that Manchur would hit would be Palmer, and I don't know if I'm going to get Palmer anytime soon. So the question is, what can I build here? What can I build? I could build a production efficiency. Like, what's it? No, it's grain. Nobody cares about grain. Grain is like that horrible just thing that you just deal with because it exists, and you're like, yeah, whatever, it's just a, a necessary thing. Uh, I can't build anything there that I'm interested by, so screw it. I also can't afford a lot of things, which, you know, also factors in. Please tell me the... Re <gasps> it's about to happen! It's 1.7% away! Which means that I guess I should end the episode here. Just a quick war, and now preparing for the inevitable flip where we'll get kicked out of the HRE because they're all bigots and they hate uh, people with their own churches. Because, like, you know, the Pope and stuff. I've been at Elysium! And looking forward to the next time when we get condemned by everyone for being the new fangled faith and we don't get dragged into a war. Yeah, if we get dragged into a war before that, I'll just have to turn down all the offers. I'll be like, nope, sorry, can't join into a war. Sorry. Hmm. I hope that doesn't happen. If you've liked the episode, please leave a like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. So we're going to kick off next time. 1.7% to go. I love you awesome nerds. Stay shiny.